so in this uh, flight plan what you do now is click on double click on this one two times to go to the home menu or you click on this one to go to the menu for the dji pilot all right once you go to the menu for the dji pilot you click on flight mission now most of the time when you import your flight mission we always import it with kml and uh, there are some uh, default uh, changes that you don't observe for us so what we we'll do is um i'm going to put you through the process of importing it normally with kml all right so while we have our drone on and i uh, will set up the rtk rtk base station all right so the next thing is um we're going to set up the kml file so when you click on um, import kml you're going to select uh, you're going to select the flight mission so we're working for linear flight mission that's um more like a road mapping uh, mission and we select download that's if you downloaded it through your internal file so i'm going to be importing kml plan one i've saved one before so i'll replace it you have something like plan one copy two so we're going to keep boots plan one copy two will we'll be working with as a new file so when you click on this to our plan this will be giving you information of nearby um aeroplane or helicopter you can just ignore that if you are not close to the airport so we have about close to eight um bands here so what we'll do next is you click on this button here to edit and when you click on this button to edit the next thing is you select the camera we are working with um mattress h20 so we set up the camera to h20 t new so to set up this camera um you can watch our next video on how to set up the camera or what you can just do just select the zemis h series and select wide all right so what you do next is select a single route that's if you just want a straight line instead of um doing it two times if you want a straight line you select a single route and gsd you will observe that one as well so the extension of the length if you reduce this length if you click on flight routes it's going to alter the elevation so the wider the coverage the more you have to go higher so if you want to maintain 100 meter altitude you have to make sure that the length is around 50 to 20 meters so we have 20 meter right of way that's um, 10 10 meters both sides so and um, we have cutting bands of 100 we can leave around as well flight routes alt can leave that if you want um egm but it's not necessary since we're not calculating from minus so you just put um alt and um that's of the target surface you can put down as 35 points 35.4 okay and you can set the takeoff speed takeoff speed can be set to 10 or 15 and the speed as well so you can be set to 4.5 and the advanced settings here can be set to 80 it's fine all right so you can leave it at 70 80 or 70 is fine so um once you do this next thing is um yeah i believe we are good so what you just do now is um, you can see we have about um 2.47 centimeters so um just two minutes so we'll go back here and um so we observe that uh, most of the time if you are trying to fly with this it will give you an error sign so if you click on save first of all save your work and you click on the play button to upload your mission is that to select flight band so what you do is click on the line make sure it's done green then click on selected and then click selected flight band then you upload your mission so if you upload your mission it always gives this error sign this invalid mission radius so what you do next is cancel this mission try as much as possible to reduce the length okay the length is too long that's why so once you click on this to reduce the length what you just do is um avoid this i don't add more length so you can reduce from the end points so what i'll just i'll click on the end point first click on the end point then click just click and delete be sure that you are doing the right thing because you can't undo on this app so you reduce it to 
certain distance i'm not sure of the distance but i will play the data on the channel so yeah maximum distance so you'll be observing the distance here as well and um for this distance once you've done that try and click on play again um let's see okay, can I click on this let me see so you click on the play button once you click on play button, you click selected flight band, select the band and upload mission. Upload mission is still giving the error. So you reduce it again. You reduce it further. So you click on this button, then delete. Alright, so once you reduce it further, you click on the play button again. Then select flight band, upload mission. And you see your sets, you're good. So um thank you so much for watching and um make sure you click on the subscribe button. <laughs> Alright, so we are doing for tech. That's where that's what we do. We help people, you know. <laughs> we help you on site. Alright, so if you have any um if um error or you are finding it difficult to still connect your drone, you can just reach us up on our website or the contacts. You can chat us up on WhatsApp if you're having challenges on the site. Alright. Alright, so it's so nice to meet you guys. We'll see you another time, alright?